Hello, welcome to Craft Academy. I'm Angela and I wanted to show you a technique that I found using multiple stencils together and layering them and using texture paste because a lot of projects that I'm seeing at the moment have different textures in them and people are experimenting with different layering techniques so I thought it would be really good to show you the one that I've found. I've started with a piece of craft card and I've taped it down to my board and I've got a couple of stencils here that this one's a nice heart-shaped stencil and I've got a trellis stencil which I'm going to use to layer on top so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my heart the first stencil onto my card and I'm going to tape that down and the idea is that the heart is going to come out but with a pattern on top so I'm going to take the heart, the trellis stencil, so I'm in fact using two stencils at the same time. And then I'm going to take this one, once I've decided exactly where I'm going to position it, I'm going to take that onto my card. Now, the paste that I'm going to use, I could use acrylic paint here, or another paint or stamping medium and I could go through that but I actually want to raise it so I'm going to use a texture paste I'm using Ranger texture paste because I think this works really well and it's a white texture paste that actually when it dries it dries white so that will stand out really well against the craft card or I might decide to to paint it or distress it so when you take this paste out it's got a really nice texture to it. it's quite lightweight but it's very smooth. It's a bit like icing a cake. So I'm using a palette knife and I'm just going to smooth it over the center of the stencil. And I can see where the paste is going to come through. I don't need to go over the green bits of the stencil because they're not going to have any paste coming through on that section. And then I'm going to take it right the way over there, all the way across. Now this is, this dries quite quickly, but it, probably take about two or three hours to completely dry but while it's still wet you can see I can get di different I can make it as smooth as I wanted or I've got a little bit of dry paste there or I can make it as smooth as I wanted or I could texture it even more but for this one I think I'm going to go quite smooth so as I said it's like icing a cake this you can actually use this process in cake making but you would have to keep a separate set of stencils particularly for that purpose right once I've done that I just clean off my palette knife and I'm going to at this stage I don't wait for it to dry but at this stage I take off my tape and I'm going to see hopefully I'll have a very interesting effect underneath so I'm going to put, take up both stencils at the same time lift them up oh look at that that is really effective so um at, if i just take this off so you can see it clearly there's one more thing i want to show you so you've really got a really lovely textured raised heart there that will look great on any project whether it's scrapbooking whether or not i'm um, embellishing a box or a bag or making a card but i just want to show you one more thing as well if you want to clean your stencil afterwards, you might just put it back onto another board and go again. Because actually, I've still got paste on there. I could actually do a thinner, a less detailed version if I wanted to, just by scraping off the remnants. And that would still give an interesting texture to a background somewhere. And it just means I'm not wasting any of that paste. So I quite like to just experiment with the last scraps onto another piece of card and then I just lift that off and I've still got an interesting oh look at that that's really interesting and if I then um, covered that with a distressing ink or another ink that would be really effective you could use distressing inks or you could embellish it and I've got a couple of examples here um, of what I've done with it before here's one where I've just cut out the textured heart I used distressing inks around the outside, I've put some little pearls on and I've used it to decorate a bag with some um, paper embellishment behind. But the reverse on my scrapbooking here, you'll notice, I've used 
the reverse of the stencil up here and it's created because of the way I've painted it afterwards I've used acrylic paints and some glaze on top and I think it really does give that effect of being tiled so I've had a lot of fun using texture paste, layering stencils, and hopefully have given you an idea for some projects for yourself to try. And that's what we're about at Craft Academy. So hopefully I'll see you again and you'll come back and see some more tips from us at Craft Academy.